Hello and welcome to a Rogue Entity dev update. It's been a while since I've done a dev update because I really haven't had a lot to show, but we've uh, decided to do a bit of an example map, a test map, if you will. One to play with some PCG stuff that we want to use, and also I've got to the point where I really want to just put the navigation through some more testing with actual terrain, so we thought it'd be cool and rewarding to have a bit of a terrain to run around in. So definitely don't take this as any final game terrain or anything like that. It's definitely something to play around in. Where I'm at with my game development, we've dropped the name Beerhead. I do have a new name, but I'm not going to release it yet. But uh, at the moment, it's just going to be a rogue entity development. <laughs> The last probably six months or even longer has been working on primarily uh, unit movement. So I've, uh, I've got a movement system, which you probably would have seen a while back, um, or if you've, if you've been following along on Discord, you probably would have seen up regular updates about it. But uh, So at the moment, the, the uh, units move in groups and you can uh, transition them around and they'll move to the closest positions without getting in all sorts of knots and whatnot and it's and it's they're taking the closest position so if I for example if I have three groups and I transition three the, the middle group's going to take the closest one whereas if I put it over here say so I tell them to shift left they're going to move off so this group can shuffle in It's the same for going backwards. They'll uh, they'll take the closest, you know. Rather than try and rotate the whole formation around, they'll just take the closest positions. So it's taking the closest positions by group, and it's taking the closest positions by individual group members within their their groups assigned position. So yeah, if I flip just one group back, they still just go you know, directly to their groups. They don't try and rotate around, and if they're Doing a turn like far away, though, they'll just manage it. They won't try and crisscross or anything like that, which will be really helpful for the vehicles. Um, I do have different formations in at the moment, but I, I haven't actually set up the system to change formations on the fly. It's uh, turned out to be a lot more complex than I thought, so I left that for the time being, but that's probably on the cards next want to have it so you can uh, you know wheel mouse with control or alt or shift and change different formations and also the spacing so I'm going to have it so you can change both the spacing between individual units and the spacing between individual groups so if you can change you know manipulate the spacing how you want and one of the other features I want to add is so at the moment if I wanted to move these guys with two groups up and two groups back I'd have to move this first group and then move this second group. Whereas I, I think it'd be cool to be able to like position you guys on the ground, that, grab them and then, you know, like combat groups control one and then they maintain this spread or this position and this sort of offset from each other. So you could do your own sort of custom formations if you wanted then, but that's, that's still to come, but it shouldn't be too big of an ask. I'll say that now. <laughs> We'll see. So yeah, and then then I can just click and move these guys. In they'll maintain this sort of formation setup as they go. Uh, one one other thing I do have in I've just got the speed, you know, adjustments so I can tell them to move tactically. Or oh, hurry up. I haven't spent a lot of time on getting the timing and animations or anything or make that zero time. So if there's any animations that are bugging you, that's why. But that's uh, that's where we're at. So we've generated this test terrain all with PCG, not the actual terrain itself, but just the filler for it. And it's uh, come up pretty good. And we're, we've still got gaps that we need to fill. We want to have uh, generating buildings and... Like we've got some areas over here, we're gonna have some farmland and Brian is working on those. 
rapidly and we'll have uh, fields and things and you just want it to be all PC generated PCG generated so we can when we have an actual real massive world we can just populate it with PCG rather than spend days making a map by hand I think that's about all I've got to show. I do have some vehicle stuff still going on, but I'm in the process of changing that so they're not at greatest state at the moment. But that's a, that's a dev update. Um, if you want to keep following on the project, you can jump on the Discord and just make sure you, sell, you sign yourself the, uh, the dev follower role and you, you'll get the updates that I post now and again. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next update.